Okay, so welcome to the second uh, video for our Central Tendency series. We're going to look at uh, median in this video, and I'll show you how to calculate the median of a set of scores. So as you've uh, found out through doing the mean practice activities in the last uh, from the last video, having either a disproportionately large or small number in a set of scores either increases or decreases the mean. So this can give a distorted view of the middle or central tendency of a set of scores. So in some cases, a better measure of central tendency is the median. So um, how do we calculate it? Well, the median is the middle score for an odd number of scores and the average of the two middle scores for an even number of scores. Now, there's a few things you need to do in order to calculate the median. Um, but the example that I'm going to use uh, is, let's, let's use uh, fishing as an example. So we've gone on a fishing trip. Let's say on a fishing trip we caught seven fish. So the lengths of these fish I've got in my memory here, so we'll just paste those in. The lengths of those fish in this particular fishing trip were 43 centimetres, 42, 52, 39, 47, 50, and then we caught one whopping fish at 124 centimetres. So as you can see, we've got a group of fish that are about the same size, and then we've got one fish, one big fish that we caught that um, is almost twice as, as big, or in, is definitely twice as big as the other fish. So let's quickly calculate the mean of these um, fish sizes here, and then we'll see what it gives us. So remember, to, to calculate the mean, we need to get the sum of the scores, 43 plus 42 plus 52 plus 39 plus 47 plus 50, and then we add our whopping fish at the end, 124. So the mean, uh, the sum of those scores is 397. Remember, we need to now divide that by the number of scores. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we divide by 7. The mean size, as you can see, is 56.714 blah, blah, blah. Now, as you can see, that, fi that's, that number, 56, is larger than all of our smaller sized fish except for our really big fish here. So if we were to use this, if someone asked us, so what was the average size of the fish you caught on your fishing trip? And we said, oh, it was 56 centimetres. We wouldn't really be telling the truth because we caught six, six fish that were less than 56 centimetres, but we caught one fish that was 124 centimetres, which, which was a large fish. So uh, in this case, to get a number that more accurately, accurately represents the average size of the fish from our fishing trip, we could use the median. So the median, what we've got to do when we, when we uh, calculate median is the first thing we need to do is um, organise our scores so that our lowest score is first and then our highest score is last. So let's do that here. So the, first, the lowest is 39. Then we've got 42. See, I'm just ranking these in order from lowest to highest. We've got, uh, what's next, 43, 47, 50, and 52, and then our big fish at the end of 124. So just keep 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's right, and they're from lowest to highest. So up here it says the median is the middle score for an odd number of scores, and the average of the two middle scores for an even number of scores. Now we've got an odd number of scores here. So all we do to find the median is really simple. We simply, to change my pen size, oops, sorry about that, go back to there, click out. Just gonna change the pen size here so that it's a bit easier to understand. Okay, so we've got, We want to find the middle score. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the middle score is going to be 47 here because it has one, two, three below and one, two, three above. So the median of this set of scores equals 47 centimeters. So if we said to someone, uh, we just went on a fishing trip and they asked, oh, well, how big are the fish you caught? We could say, well, you know, on average about 47 centimetres. And we'd be accurate in saying that. Um, so let's have a look at uh, how to calculate the median if you don't have, if you've got a, um, an 
even number of scores because that's a little bit tricky because then you don't have a middle score. So let's just say uh, in the second case here, we'll use a different colored pen just so that we know what's going on here. Let's say we got Forty-two, forty-three, forty-seven, fifty, fifty-two, hundred twenty-four. Okay, all I've done is gotten rid of this thirty-nine score here. So here we've got an even number of scores. All right. So what we do in this case is we find the average of the two middle scores. So. The two middle scores in this case are 47 and 50. All right, I'll just get my pen tool back. 47 and 50 here. So what we need to do is find the average of both of these scores. Now, to do that, we simply add the, add the scores together, 47 plus 50, and then divide by 2 because the number of scores is 2. So we'll get the calculator out to do that. We'll go 47 plus 50 equals divided by 2 equals 48.5. So in this case, the median equals, oh, what was it? It was 40 something point 0.5, it was 48.5. So just to recap, what I did there, when because the number of scores we had here was 6, and that's an even number, what we have to do is we need to find the average of the two middle scores, add them together, divide by 2, and that'll give us the median of the even number. So you can see that the median, the, the median numbers are quite similar here. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically it. If you do the practice activities in the OneNote, um, have a go at doing that. We'll put, put some examples in there for you to have a go at doing. And, um, and then we'll um, move on to mode, which is the next measure of central tendency.